My best sellers are 36 footers to the 32 footers and the 40 footers are pretty good too. The longer you get, the fewer places you can get them into to park. So the really hot thing in the market right now is the shorter coaches. So I do quite a few of those. A lot of you out there are looking for a diesel pusher, but want something under 36 feet. And it's very hard to find nice, high quality diesel pushers under 36 feet where you can still get to some of the national parks and not all campgrounds can accommodate all the big 45 footers. Today I'm hanging out here at Kenai Coach in Junction City, Oregon, and we hit the jackpot on short diesel pushers today. Today I'm hanging out with Terry Smith. How you doing today, sir? Hello, Andrew, doing great. Good to see you again. Likewise, well, you always have lots of beautiful coaches here on your lot. A lot of people have been asking me to find some shorter diesel pushers. Do you have anything out there for the folks on you? YouTube. They're getting harder and harder to find. And of course, condition and upgrades mean a lot. They're not all worth the same. I, people ask me all the time, what's such and such a coach worth? Well, unless I see it, I couldn't begin to tell you because they're in all kinds of condition, but I'll show you what I got here right now. Um, Country Coach is the only one that made higher end coaches that short uh, without being an entry level diesel with the rear radiator and all those other kind of things. So um, this is, these two are 36 foot quad slide, seven foot ceiling coaches and Country Coach is the only one that built them this size. Yeah, and as far as a 36 uh -huh. foot, uh, the Inspire. Now, what year did the Inspire start having the seven foot ceiling? 04, this is an 04 right here. Okay. This is an 04 and with the seven foot ceiling and a two piece windshield. Then in 05, they went to the one piece windshield. This is an 07 right here. Okay. So um, I had this one sold and then when he heard I got this one, he said he wanted this one. So I've got a <laughs> deposit on this and we're getting an electric fireplace put in it and laminate flooring and they're really tricking it out for him. And they happen to be from Alaska that are going to be picking up the coach from oh, down here. So. Very cool. Very cool. Well, now. I love these 36 footers, but out of the corner of my eye, yeah. I see a little 32 footer up there. Can we show the folks on YouTube that coach? Sure. Yeah, that's a uh, 32 foot intrigue. And it's an on slide, it's 1997. That's when the slides first started coming out. And uh, this one though is an on slide. And uh, you can turn circles in the highway with it. Yeah. Nobody else made a high end side radiator coach this short. Only country coach did. Yeah, this is exciting. 32 foot non slide country coach. Now, uh, what engine is in this? Uh, this would be a Cummins, a 330 Cummins. 330 Cummins and a little 30, that's gotta be plenty of power for a little 32 foot coach. Oh, it is. You mind if we take a look inside? No, that'd be great. Sounds good. Wow, this is a super nice coach. I can't believe how good of condition everything is in and non-slide coach this is this is what it's going to be like going down the road you have this this runner rug down but i've got to point out these floors are absolutely beautiful looks like these have all been recently remodeled was this year this year tvs were upgraded to flat screen led tvs mcd shades were put all the way around uh, electric ones that go all the way across in the front and pull down ones along the sides the laminate flooring in it a new upholstery uh, all this was done within the last year, but the uh, last people I had sold it to had it completely remodeled. This is a buddy seat too for a big butt. You yeah. told me about those buddy seats and this is yeah. probably one of the, the wider buddy seats in the industry. I mean, that's, that's close to three feet in width and you so, so you can have a dog or a cat or something yeah. up there. It's really not advisable to have a grandchild sitting. No, no, no. <laughs> now, do you think this is the original leather from night? That is no way. Oh, uh, yeah. There's a little bit of wear right there. I am going to point yeah. that out. Um, but yeah, and, and we do have an upholstery repair place that is going to fix that. Oh, okay, good, yeah. good. But really, but yeah, this is original, original, and um, and this was in great shape, but it was uh, upholstered in kind of a grandma type pattern, and uh, so it was upgraded to this. This is double recliner love seat, and you have some more storage there. So. Nice. How many miles are on this coach? Uh, this one, I'm going to have to turn the key on. I'll tell you what. While you do that, I'm going to show the sure. folks real quickly what this coach looks like. I love these wood floors. 
115,000. Okay, 115,000 miles on it. Just getting broken in. It's got a north-south facing bed. Wardrobe space here. We had some more coaches to show everyone, but this is a great opportunity. Is this on the Dynamax chassis? It is, yes. So, so what makes the Dynamax chassis different than like other chassis out there? Okay, they're what they call semi-monocoque chassis, meaning the frame rails are smaller, which gives you more storage in your basement underneath the frame rails. But the rest of the frame is built into the structure of the coach so they're much more, more solid they don't get the twisting uh, they've got more shocks more airbags and uh, just a lot better ride let's go look at a couple yeah, more coaches and Terry's see. gonna get us the price now yeah. I do have to tell you guys the one thing that I really do not I'm just not a huge fan of on this coach is the color here I, I, I knew you were I, I, I'm just I got to keep it real with them you know so yeah. Yeah, that is. I've sold a lot of these coaches, and uh, the color means a lot. But some people they love that color because you don't see many of them this color. You see the browns and the beiges, you know, but you don't see more vibrant colors. Hey, out there. that so that is. To some people they like that. That is true. I'm gonna give it some points for originality, and I mean, I guess, and and Terry does make a really good point in a world full of kind of browns and burgundies. A little majestic, kind of purple, pinkish. Salmon doesn't hurt. A 32 foot country coach intrigue, non slide, very rare coach uh -huh. with a remodel recently. Uh -huh. How much dough do you need? Uh, $79,000. And some of them will be worth half that. It depends on the condition. Because if it needs tires, it needs batteries, it needs a whole interior remodel, it needs electronics upgraded, you're looking at $30,000 real fast. Do you know to what? Do the... all that stuff. And it's already done on this the laminate flooring. Uh, yeah, a lot of value into that. Do you know what the date codes are on these tires? We'll look and see. 2016. Like 16. Okay, so 30th week. Right, right on the uh, right on the edge there uh, on those toys. Now, what else? So, what else do you have uh, for the folks on YouTube? Okay, so this is a 40 foot. It's an 01. Let's let's look at the shorter ones. Uh -huh. They want to okay. see the 36 yeah. footers and less. Okay, so this is an 07 Inspire that I've got sold. Yeah, and it's a 36 foot four slide with a seven foot ceiling and and that started in 04 there's an 04 right next to it well out of respect for the new owner of this 07 we're not going to go inside but do you mind if we take a look inside of that 04 no that'll be fine and then over here we've got uh, an intrigue and an allure and they're both the same floor plan the same wood but this one the intrigue will have the 400 cummins isl and the Allure will have the 350 Cummins ISC. This will have a two-stage Jake brake. This will have an exhaust brake. This one has silver leaf. That one won't have the silver leaf. So this one will be less money. But it's the same chassis on both of these. Okay, they're both 36-foot coaches. Yes, 36 both squad slides. with three slides. Three slide outs. Most okay. of these only had two slides. These two have two living room slides and one bedroom slide. What, what year are these coaches? Uh, they're 02. Both of That's them. That's the first year you could get a triple slide okay. in a country coach. Yeah. Now, we kind of slid right by this 04 right here. Uh, is this 04? So the gentleman that was going to buy, or, so the folks that were going to buy this 04 ended up with the 07, so this yes. 04 is available again. Yes, uh -huh. I'm, I'm getting a deposit on it. I let, have to let people know, and uh, but it's contingent on financing and a few other little things. So just because we have a deposit on it doesn't mean that the coach is completely off the So I leave them listed until the sell is completed. Okay. Because a lot of times I have not to a done, give the deposit back. Not yeah. a done deal till the the wheels are over the curb. Now I really like the colors on this, just kind of those cream beige colors. And Terry's the man with the set of keys. I don't think I've ever, ever seen anyone with a keychain bigger than Terry Smith's. Yeah, it's, uh, for a while it was down to five motorhomes but now it's grown back up again because i've had really good success selling coaches for people so most of these are consignments now we used to not do any consignments but now we're doing primarily all consignments but uh we've sold over 70 coaches this year so far and uh so the market is really good right now and there's a lot of people that want to buy from me because they feel like i will make sure that they're taken care of and what they buy and uh if you buy one from a private party out there then you don't know what you're going to get yeah or they're not able to fix things that need to be fixed and, oh. uh, or altered or modified or something like that. And a lot of the places that people live, there's not somebody close by that can do the changes that can be done here. So Yeah, Lane County, Oregon, this is where it happens. And Terry Smith, one of the most knowledgeable and resourceful people 
on country coach monaco beaver all that good stuff hey, one of the interesting things with this one is most of my diesel pushers sleep four people two on the sofa bed and two in the bed in the bedroom uh, this one this makes into a bed with an air mattress this makes into a jackknife sofa this makes dinette makes down into a bed so this one will sleep eight people two four six and eight and that's very unusual in the higher end diesel pushers so a family this coach is perfect for someone with their grandkids come with them or they have kids still i've got to ask you though talking about eight people only one shower and one <laughs> toilet what's the fresh water tank carrying capacity and what are the holding tank carrying capacities yeah the uh, fresh water tanks 110 gallons and the uh for the fresh water and then the sewer and the uh, gray water is uh, about 60 gallons each how about diesel fuel carrying capacity yeah 110 gallons you can put down some miles in this coach what about uh, being a 36 foot coach does it get a little bit better fuel mileage or about oh, the yeah. same it depends on how heavy your foot is and what you're towing behind if you're towing a stacker trailer it's not going to be real good what's but the towing uh, what's average you know a 5,000 pound car is what most people are towing and this should get eight miles to the gallon and wow. this you speed up 10 miles an hour you're going to lose a mile per gallon so what's the towing capacity on this coach? Uh, this one is 7,000 the 07 next door is 10,000 okay but we do have a company here that will reinforce the hitch to make it a higher capacity if somebody wants to you know tow more than what the hitch is rated for so this floor has to be I mean there is no way that that's the original floor that's it just updated got installed okay okay so I had this coach sold and then I got in the 07 and he said hey I want the 07 instead and we just put in the laminate flooring for him upgraded the TVs upgraded the satellite put in the fireplace heater yeah and, uh, so now we're doing everything again on the 07 for him. this so. is a super nice coach the captain's chairs are in really good condition here just a little bit of wear on the driver's seat. Very, very minor. 74,000 miles on it. Okay. And it's got the 350 Cummins ISC in it. Allison 3000 transmission? Uh -huh. Yes. What are some of the other big things for 04 in this particular model? Well, this is the first year that they made this. And so... Um, they didn't make this high of a ceiling in any of them except the Inspire and the Tribute in 04. Then in 05, they started making these changes on the Magna and Affinities, you know, raising the ceilings, one piece front windshield, things like that. So, yeah, and this still is the two piece windshield here. The next year went to the one piece uh, front windshield. Okay, well, I'm going to just walk the folks through the coach here real quick and then we'll go take a look at some of those other coaches. Uh, that's got to be an updated refrigerator. Is that stock? Nope, nope, that's original. Wow. Gas electric. Yeah, real large shower there. Nice cozy bedroom back here. It's a nice motorhome, Terry. How much money do you need for this one, sir? Uh, this is 109000 With all the upgrades and everything. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yes. A lot of bang for the buck. Quad slide, 36-foot diesel pusher fully upgraded for 109,000 bucks. Mm -hmm. This yeah. will not last long for sure, but let's go take a look at a couple of those other coaches here. I always like to point out these trays too. I love that Country Coach did these. Yeah. So these 36 footers are both O2s. Uh, they're both Allures as well. No, this is an Intrigue. This is an Allure, but they they both have walnut cabinetry. They both have the same floor plan. They both have the same chassis, but this is 400 horse with a two-stage shake brake. That's 350 horse with a ISC exhaust brake. And then um, this one here uh, has a silver leaf coach information system. This one does not. Uh, so there's a few differences between them. Of course, this is less money than this one, but they're both O2 country coach with three slides. Now, most of them, that's the first year of the triple slide. Most of these will only have two slides, but th both of these have the three slide. Very cool. And I know this one was just a trade-in. I've got to get a little closer look. I actually really like this, this paint scheme with the, with the tan, with the red pinstripes. This is a... This and is a paint stream. You don't got, see. Got two areas we're fixing here. Okay. Um, which is fairly common on these. So, so we put a we, we grind this down. We put some flexible sealant in there, and we put a piece that's about an inch wide uh, and about an eighth of an inch thick here. The same thing here. Yep. Because if you fix that, it'll just come back again. Yep. What so a th great one, looking coach. It just came in. All we did was get it washed. So we haven't done anything else to it yet. Do you so. know? Do you know how many miles are on it? 
Uh, it's about 80,000 miles, but uh, we'll, we'll go take a peek at the odometer. Do you know how much dough you're going to need? Uh, this one here is going to be uh, $79,000. 79, well, is this one going to be, this one's 109,000 and then also 109 for the 04 as well? Yes, that's correct. The 04 is two years newer, but uh, this is two levels above yeah. the, the Inspire. See, no rust. Yeah, the See? ISC. A lot of value into having a well cared for coach no rust with no rust if yes you sir see rust, if you see a lot of heavy rust here don't even look at the rest of the coach just move on because i see a lot of them that way they would drove up in the snow in the northeast or something and uh it it's going to be problems all the way along so well you you've so, learned the hard way so oh, yeah, yeah i've been there done that so look here and if that's all clean it doesn't have to be this clean but you know if it's got heavy rust and underneath then you better find something else see here we got this again yeah now now they they put some stuff on there which of course is all coming off yeah it's gonna, and it's going to get repainted so. yeah that's probably that's probably to do these is probably going to cost me about four thousand dollars to get those areas fixed now this coach is a lot of coach for 89 grand i started getting excited but terry you were letting me know about one kind of downfall if i were to purchase this coach yes because you're taller than i am there you want to be and, my cameraman and, here and, and show him and i'm here let's see how okay all right see andrew is uh taller than i am by about six inches so his legs naturally are longer than mine and so it's a little bit tight you could see my knee is actually up a little bit here where the the foot pedals are for me to have my foot on the gas and the brake it's going to be just a little bit high there i don't know if you guys can see that angle so you've had some experience with taller guys yep. like not being yes. very comfortable long hauls in this yes, coach that's correct hey that's a lot to be said about our buddy terry smith here he i think he had me hook line and sinker on this uh 89 grand country coach but probably a deal breaker for me being a tall guy but i appreciate your honesty terry mm -hmm. so yeah Hey, you bet. If you're making short trips, it's not that big of a deal. But if you're making, you know, you're driving all day long, it's not as comfortable for tall guys as it is for us yeah. shorter ones. <laughs> Terry, I greatly appreciate that. And can't thank you enough for showing us around your lot, all these cool coaches here. If somebody is a serious buyer and they're uh -huh. interested in one of the coaches that you have here for sale at Kenai Coach, yes. who can they get a hold of? They can call me at 541 952 one zero one six and you can also go to my website kenai k-e-n-a-i kenaicoach.com and you'll see probably more pictures than you want to see of these coaches now i have to warn you a lot of these coaches are getting sold before i can even get them cleaned up and online so by monitoring my website you're not seeing all the coaches that are coming through here because of the fact that they're moving quicker than i can get get them up online a lot of times so well that's a great problem to have yes can't yes. thank you enough mm -hmm. I also greatly appreciate all of you out there on YouTube subscribing to the channel and liking these videos. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. Bye.